Several things happened since I last made a video. Sorry, or that anybody cares. My hair's purple. Ish. See? And I cut my hair before my hair was up to here. And I accidentally gave myself the Velma. If you don't know what the Velma hairstyle is, watch Scooby-Doo. Like, I kid you not, with the right amount of hairspray, obviously the color. Give me a different, weirder shade of, different, weird, different, weirder pair of glasses. And I'll wear purple, and you know, I curve it right, I'm totally Velma, and it's weird. I, I used to have this hairstyle back, like, in high school, in early high school, but it was a little bit longer. And I didn't have bangs. Now I slightly have bangs. See? My bangs were like up to here, and now they're like a full four fingers away from my face. Well, from my lips, because they're like up to here, but yeah. Um, my hair's purple, it's short. I got tired of the fuchsia and the blue in the bottom because the blue faded out to like this really yucky gray. And I dyed it. Sorry, I've only slept like four hours, and I woke up at seven, so it's like, what? Anyways, um, I dyed, I got this purple because I dyed it from the pink that I had, the fuchsia color, with the blue, the aqua blue. Uh, I mixed them together, and this is the color I got, and I like it. I'm actually happy with it. I'm gonna hopefully let it fade. And yeah, um... It's weird, people always, people at work have been asking me, like, how do you get your hair that color and stuff like that? And I'm like, bleach, a lot of bleach, basically killing your hair slowly for an hour or so. Torture. No, but, um, if you are going to dye your hair, if you do want color streaks in your hair of any kind, first I recommend you at least buy hair clips. And if you like the way they look, then do the tips, because if you don't, if you do the whole thing and you're like, oh, well, I don't like it, it's going to be too drastic if you die because you will be damaging your hair if you don't wait, like, a certain amount of period. Until you see your, it's till you see a full good inch of roots in your hair, like, I barely have very little, until you see, like, a whole full inch of root from your hair, then you can dye your hair. That That's what I do, at least until I can see, like, a whole inch of my hair and I just do the roots and that's pretty much it. But if you do your whole thing and you do, if you do the whole hair and you don't like it, you're gonna kill your hair. That's without a doubt, or at least damage it severely. That your hair is not gonna have the same volume. It's not gonna have the same, you know, flip when you comb it like you always do. Um. So what I did is that I got this really good um, developer. It's the Revlon or L'Oreal? I don't know, it said uh, Sally's. I think it is Revlon. Yes, it was like $10. Um, I'm not the kind of person to buy stuff or brand. I kind of, I've always used the Ion brand from um, Sally's, but lately I didn't like how it's been leaving my mom's hair because we use the developer, we mix our own hair dyes. I didn't like how it's been leaving my mom's hair, and my mom has really thin hair. So I just figured, you know, what would happen if it did with my hair? And I've used it before, but the color doesn't last as long. So I'm like, ugh, I guess. So, um, I decided, well, I'm going to buy the Revlon thing because it says, it. I, re I read the whole label, I read labels when I buy shit. Uh, it said that it has extra nourishment for your hair while it's bleaching or coloring, it's nourishing your hair. So I'm like, oh, well, that's good. So I bought it, and I bought the bleach, which was something lightning blue. The package was, like, silver and blue with black letters. It's supposed to lift your hair five levels of blonde. As an, oh, my gosh, I was, like, Barbie blonde slash mixed with a Nazi. It's horrible. But, yeah, and um, I don't remember the hair dye color. But, oh. Sorry, it's so rude of me. Um, it's a fuchsia purple color kind of like a, a grape color, kind of like, I'd show you my toenails, because it's literally that color, but it's just weird. And the blue is kind of like an aqua turquoise color. It's really a pretty color by itself, but, you know, it fades easily. That's the only bad thing about it. So what I do is with my hair dyes, um, these that aren't permanent, that wash off, 
um, I put the developer in there, at least two capfuls of the developer, mix it in properly because you don't want a little bit there and a little bit here, and then I dye it. I leave it. It usually stays for 30 minutes, but I usually leave it as long as possible or until I feel uncomfortable. Sadly, I do that also with permanent hair dyes, which is horrible and why my hair is so damaged. Um, but you're supposed to leave it in for 30 minutes, but I leave it on for an hour. What also helps is that after you bleach your hair, you use the deep conditioner. I have this deep conditioner called a uh, Mix Chick. Let me get it. I would show you my room, but it literally is a mess. Like, horrible mess. Oh, God. This is ooh, way up and close. I'm showing you the crap that I use for my hair. That's so weird. Okay, what I use every day after I get out of the shower, I use this mega thick uh, growth oil by Dugru. And it's really helped my hair. This helps to tame fizz, promotes thick hair, thick, strong, and growing hair. Thickness and strength means weakened and weak and damaged hair. Shea butter, vitamin A, botanical thickener formula. Tame frizz and add shine. Do grew. Okay, I'm not sponsored by these people. I wish. I wouldn't be doing a video from my room. I'd be doing it from an actual studio, but I'm not. So, so yeah, do grew. It's... It helps my hair. I I usually use it like every once in a while, but lately since I bleached my hair, well, since January, let's be honest, it hasn't been that long. Since January, I, every time I get out of the shower, I put a little bit on my hair and just comb it in with my fingers, and then I brush it out. And then um, these two things that have practically saved my hair from falling out. This is a hydrating mask by one and only Argon Oil. That's what it's called, Argon Oil. Uh, mask Hydrante Mascarilla Hidratante. Yeah, I read it in Spanish. This thing, it, it's really freaking creamy. Let me see if I can... Oh my gosh, I'm like such a monkey. I hold the jar between my feet. And, yeah, because I'm holding the camera and I take it out with my hands. So see, this is how it looks. It smells really creamy, like cream. And it's white, also like cream, and it smells very extra creamy, like cream. <laughs> and then for my hair, um, I told you about deep conditioning. I didn't buy this one till last week, but I've been using it every other day, and I love how it leaves my hair. I, I use the pur when I mix the purple hair dye. I put this also in with the with the hair dye. I didn't use the developer. It's called Mix Chick. It's called Deep Conditioner Nourishing, and my watch is going off. Hold on. How do I stop it? Oh, here we go. It's called Deep Condition. It's a deep conditioner, nourish, detangles, and restores your thirsty locks with exclusive conditioning blend, which penetrates and reconstructs damaged areas, transforming style stubborn hair into resilient, easy-to-maintain tresses. Maximize your potential with Mix Chick. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so full of shit. I can't... Okay, here we go. There we go. This is how it looks. This, this is really, really thick, as you can tell. It is deep conditioner. It's meant to be thick. And you're supposed to leave it on for like 15 minutes, but I leave it on for like 20 at least. The most, sorry, so my hair could get the most nourishment. But like I said, I use this while I dyed my hair, while I use this dye, so I'm surprised that it actually left the dye still there. Because if you remember my pictures, well, you only have like one picture where, like, like <laughs> where it's really dark fuchsia on top and in the bottom it's blue. But see, all in the bottom is purple. Because where it was blue and it was already lighted up. But if I go like this... You see the purple, see? So my hair, I think it's just the perspective or whichever way the light hits it, whatever. But yeah, um, these things have like really saved my hair from blowing out. And I don't know if you guys know this, but this is a really pretty brush. It's called a tangling brush. And this is also something that, you know, that helps my hair a lot. So, yeah, that's my awesome regime. I have a whole bunch, I kid you not, I have a whole countertop full of crap that I use on my hair. 
And I'm gonna show you the crab, not the countertop, because you'd be like, gasp. Every time I blow dry my hair, I use this Beyond the Zone. I use a lot of Beyond the Zone products. Smooth Criminal Blowout Balm. It not only smells nice, it leaves your hair nice. And whenever I feel like having that hippie Kurt Cobain look, I use this uh, bedhead, uh, cocky, cork, cocky, yeah. It's a dollar, I'm cheap. Um, it makes your hair, like, you have beach look, whatever. I use also the same thing, it's literally the same thing, but I like the way this one smells, and it's much more thicker. Why did I ever, uh, think wrong? It's called Super Sexy Pro Formula. Texturizing and distraught. That's what it's called. And I also have this little squeezy thing. Oh, here we go. This is a got to be product. This one I just bought at Ulta, like the beginning of the month. It's got to be crazy sleek flat iron and blow dry lotion. This one I could either use it before I blow dry my hair. Or use it before I blow dry my hair and curl my hair or straighten my hair after. Because I bought in a new curling iron. And yeah, that's pretty much all the crap I use. Oh yeah, and I bought this thing. This is for the next day. It's called the Refresh Fix Defy. Yeah, it's Defy Deodorized Next Day Hair. It smells pretty. I like it. It smells like flowers. Like a pretty flower. And I'm talking to myself. I don't know, I sh maybe I shouldn't do videos this early. It's weird. I guess, well, um... Oh yeah, and... If anybody cares, if you have a present to give to somebody, do you should totally buy that special somebody this perfume. It's Lacoste Love of Pink. I always wonder what it's called. I just said something pink. You must have been something right. Yeah, um, so this is going to be my video for today because I haven't done one in a while. I'm going to post this on my Facebook page and also on my YouTube page. And then I'm going to delete it because my phone's saying you're running out of space. So, like, fuck. Which is weird because I don't really download shit as often as I did on my other phone. I don't know, but yeah, um, have a happy Saturday. Don't. Drink and drive because you're spill shit. Um, don't eat and drive because honestly, nobody wants you to crash because you were eating a taco while driving. Um, that's it. Uh, but yeah. And it, okay, just see so you now, I made this video because people literally go up to me and ask me, How did you get your hair that color? Or they ask me, I, I'm buying stuff at Sally's, and they ask me, okay, you don't work, do you work here? And I'm like, no. And then she's like, oh, well, is there a way you can help me? And I'll be like, okay. So, yeah, that's my video. And I think I woke my sister up. Oh, and um, the song that you've been hearing for the past something, I'll tell you because I really don't want to type it in. It must have been something right. Okay, um... Uh, let's see. I think it started off... Okay, some weird random school kids performing. Tool covered by 46 and 2. Tool 46 and 2. 3 LW players gonna play... Don't question my music, please. Pitbull featuring Tim... Timber. Oh, Pitbull featuring Timber. Pitbull... Timber featuring Kesha, Spice Girls Too Much, uh, Bright Elizabeth Grace, I love her voice, she's a really good YouTube artist, it's, uh, her YouTube is Juicebox something, I have her somewhere on my Facebook thing, um, Leaders of the Broken Heart by Papa Roach, so yeah, that's what I'm listening to, um, good morning, and have a wonderful day!